hi welcome in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use google authentication to log in and sign up on lobby ai and also how to connect an event from lobby ai straight to your google calendar remember lobby ai is an ai powered recruiter ats and hris system for employers employees and freelancers let's get to it so right now instead of using the regular email and password entry method i'm going to use login with google right now google is going to ask me for confirmation of which of my email addresses or which of my google accounts it wants to use to access lobby AI. i'm going to select the first one i have here and right now it's going to tell me exactly what i'm giving lobby ai permission to so google will share your name email address language preference and profile picture with google application with lobby application sorry now i'm going to click on continue and what's happening right now is it's sending those information that i just mentioned out to lobby ai and lobby ai in turn is going to use that information to log you in or sign you up depending on which one you are working on at that point in time so now this user has already logged in before so what that tells me is that you can switch your authentication method to google login even after you become a signed up user on lobby ai all right so the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to select one of my workspaces to log into because I want to now demonstrate how you can save um, inform, um, events happening in your schedule on Lobby AI in your Google Calendar. So let's proceed. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to click on schedule now in schedule we have scheduling links and those scheduling links are links to events that we created that we can actually send out to people so that they can book slots with you all right so i'm just going to create a new one just for formality so i'm going to create this one i'm going to call it authentication event authentication event all right and i'm going to say this is not an actual event and i'm going to say each of them should be a maximum of 45 minutes i want it to start tomorrow and i want it to end next week wednesday so i'll, I'll set saturdays as an active day um start time let me say 9 45 and end time on a daily basis should be 8 15 all right i'm going to click on create schedule and basically what's going to happen now is that i now have this event here authentication event so i'm going to copy this link and then i'll go through the flow of booking an event of the already created event link all right so i'm going to book a slot now by pasting this the link to that event and now in no time this should load and then i'll go through the booking process of that all right now it's open i'm going to select a slot for tomorrow and i want that slot to be by 10 30 a.m i'm going to click on book now i'm going to put in a reason for booking this is not an actual reason i'm going to say confirm now the next thing i want to do is i'm going to save this event to my google calendar you can see that right here the meeting is now um, scheduled and then 
the name the time and all of that is right there so now i want to save this event straight to my google calendar so let's do that together so i'm going to click here i'm going to click on add to google now what google is going to do here is that it's going to ask me for permission again are you sure you want to give out this information so select the account i'm going to select the account i want to use and now google is saying this google hasn't verified this app yet which means this video is actually for google and we want them to know exactly the extent of permission and scope that we are using the permissions we required from them for all right so i'm just going to click on continue and now it's saying when you allow access lobby application will be able to view and edit events on all your calendars that is it all right for this email address all right so let's proceed and this should create an event on my google calendar let's see saturday which is tomorrow authentication event 10 30 to 11 15. so that's how it works i hope this video is clear enough for you to know exactly what the google authentication is like on lobby ai platform that's all for this video see you next time